In this code sample, we have uh, the file class demo.html, and here we place a script element that refers class demo compiled.js. This is the file created by Bubble. In order to write code in ECMA 2015, when trying to do stuff, when trying to do things that the web browser still doesn't support, one of the options is to install Bubble.js. Just browse at bubble.js.io and here, if you choose uh, Setup, you can find the instructions for installing it when using WebStorm or PHPStorm, which is the same. Actually, it is about installing a compiler that compiles the code you write in JavaScript in JavaScript using stuff from ECMA 2015 into JavaScript that we can run in our web browser. So, let's get back to the code sample. So, classdemo.js is the code I wrote the bubble.js compiler compiled it into classes demo dash compiled .js, and here I just placed the link to classes demo dash compiled .js. Uh, again the only reason for doing so is because I'm writing code that my web browser still doesn't support entirely so let's go over the code we wrote in JavaScript using ECMA script 2015. Well, first over here I define the class person, meaning that I can instantiate this class and every object I instantiate from this class. I will do it by calling the, this constructor that takes care after adding two members, two properties to each and every object instantiated from person, name and ID. Over here we also have the definition for the function to string. As you can see, the syntax for defining functions inside a class are a bit is a bit different comparing to uh, the syntax you know for uh, defining new functions in JavaScript. You just specify the name of the function, and if the function has parameters, then you just list those parameters, and then the body and might include the return keyword if the function is a function that returns something back. Uh, over here I have the definition for the class student as a class that extends a person. The keyword extends the same keyword you might be familiar with if you already know Java or PHP or TypeScript is the keyword for specifying a new class as a class that extends another one. So by doing so it means that every function defined within the class person it will be possible to invoke it on objects instantiated from the class student. Um, over here, you can see the definition for a constructor. Defining a constructor in a class you define in ECMA 2015 is done by using the keyword constructor. So when I instantiate student and I pass over uh, these three arguments, these three arguments are assigned to these three parameters. And over here, using the super keyword, just as in Java, I invoke the constructor that was defined in the superclass, in the class person. And over here, in addition, I take care after uh, creating a new property in the new created object, the average property, and I assign it with the uh, value, the average parameter as over here you can see the definition for the function to string and if you are already familiar with uh, the function to string from uh, um, other programming languages then you know that when you try to print an object uh, the the string representation of the object that will be 
shown is the string, the two string function returns. Over here you can see that when I pass over um, the value of OB, and the value of OB is a reference for an object that was instantiated from student, indirectly this two string is invoked, and here you can see that its um, returned value, which is a string, includes the string returned when calling on the very same object the two string function that was defined in the parent class in person. Now if we try to execute this code sample, this is the output we get. This This uh, part of the string is returned from here, and the rest is returned is the string created over here. Now if we change a bit, it, the result will be different. For example, we can just take out the word person. Now you can see the result will be different.